Hey everybody, um, this is just going to be a mishmash of stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm going to title this because it is a mishmash. A um, few different things. So, this weekend I have taken some time to like particularly spend some time with God and um and some things have taken place in my personal life and the Lord has spoken to me and so I just want to share a few things that may be encouraging to you um, and if you heed could be beneficial to you so first of all I just want to say uh, well I'm not even sure where to start which one which topic I should start with um, I have gotten a sense um, and, and, and it's just a sense now for those of you who've been on my channel for a while you know this already for those of you who are new this you know this is probably new but um, I'm an INFJ and so I have um, a heavy inherent uh, intuition, discernment, word of knowledge, uh, anointing, gifting, whatever you want to call it. And so very often, and I mean very often, um, the Lord will speak something to me and I don't even recognize that it's him speaking to me. I, like I, 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 I've become aware of this, but I still find myself going like, oh, wait a minute, that fleeting thought I had, that, I th I'm, I, that was God, <laughs> you know, like, um, and so it's difficult for me to definitively say this did or did not come from God, you know, so, so I just say that I sense things, that I have a, a sense, and you take it to God you know, and, and see whether or not it resonates with your discernment and whether or not God confirms it. But, um, I was praying for myself this weekend and I was also praying for someone else in particular. And I asked God to, you know, speak to me regarding this other person so that I could, you know, try to help them get some clarity. You know, I was asking God to give us both some confirmations and some clarity and things and, and so this is the sense that I got regarding the state of California particularly. This is what came to me. Um, and again, I, I could be wrong, you know, but I just got this sense that at some point, California, like the borders of the state of California, um, that they're not going to let anybody leave unless they get tested and or vaccinated. I just had this sense. I had this sense that California is going to turn basically into a prison um, of sorts that, like, you won't be able to, like, physically leave the state at some point. That it, It's just a sense I have, okay? Um, and so I really, 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 really urge all well all people really but especially you know those those of you who belong to Christ and those of you who who are awake and know the truth of what's going on i really encourage you to seek the lord about getting out of the state of california if you are there you know if i mean this only applies to those people but um my sense is that it could happen soon. We all know that the world is slowly going into lockdown. The country is slowly going into lockdown all over again. Um, you know, someone had had said that it would go through uh, March. I've heard a few other people say February. You know, um, it's also been said that it would just kind of be like permanent in, in a certain sense or, or sense. Um, you know, only God knows the future, you know, and... Uh, but my sense is that for the state of California, get out now. Get out now. Get out now. Pray fast. Seek the Lord about this immediately. And get the hell out if, I mean, just 
That's just my sense, but you go and pray about it. You go and pray and fast about that, okay? So that's that, number one. Number two, um, last night, or just kind of recently, um, I'm not going to get into details, but I found, I discovered envy in my heart, and, you know, jealousy and envy are very similar, and, but I, I learned that the distinction of, um, what envy is from jealousy is I guess that when you you have a belief that that the the person that you're jealous of for whatever reason whatever thing you're jealous of that you know you have a belief that that person doesn't deserve that this that and the other blah 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 and um I was able to to talk to someone last night that was that was able to help me you know kind of process this talk it out and uh ultimately resolve it in my heart, and as I was talking to them, um, there was a, a verse in Proverbs, um, I think there's two verses in Proverbs that say, you know, don't envy sinners and whatever, and, you know, one of the Ten Commandments is not to covet, you know, which means to be jealous of and, and all of that. It is a sin, um, it is toxic, it is ungodly, and, you know, I just want to say, and, and then I, I came across a, well, I had a, a a video saved in my, you know, watch later that I finally watched today. And it, uh, part of it was confirming the same thing of like, you know, bottom line, only God knows every one of our hearts. And I, I want to go deeper on this, but it's just not appropriate for, for, for me to go deeper on this at this time. But, um, only God knows your heart and only God knows that person's heart. And, you know, there may be something you don't know, you know, blah, 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 you know, so, uh, just trust God, okay, don't try, I mean, I, I really want to go deeper on this, but I can't right now, so, but, but just, just trust God that there's a reason that you may not know, that you may not, like, there's a reason that would make it all make sense, but you just might not know it right now, you know, and so you just have to trust that God knows everything and he knows what's best and just focus on the path that, that you're on. So I just wanted to address that if anyone is dealing with envy or jealousy or coveting, um, you know, try to repent of that as best you can. Seek the Lord on it. Seek revelation regarding whatever it is. Um, and then the, the third thing that I wanted to say is... Um, I don't know if this is is related to what went on recently in my life, the fact that I was able to resolve the envy, or if this is just like a general thing. I, I recently, you know, listened to a few other prophetic words from some other people on YouTube, and it does seem to be kind of confirming how I'm feeling. So I, I, I would lean towards believing this is unrelated to... Uh, the envy and whatever's gone on in my personal life recently. I think it's just a, a corporate thing. But I am feeling today so at peace. I am feeling today like the joy of the Lord. I am feeling today this like peaceful confidence. It makes me think of that song by uh, Stephanie Gretzinger, Confidence. You know, like... I, I just have this, like, joyful, peaceful confidence that, like, no matter what happens, God's gonna provide. God's gonna come through. The, the breakthrough's gonna happen. The promises are gonna happen. God's gonna show up. God's gonna provide. God is good. God loves me. I don't know where this feeling came from, but hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, Yahweh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just feel good, guys. And for me, that's rare, <laughs> okay? And that's why I'm sharing it because it's it's like, it feels like it's got to be prophetic. It, it, and like I said, I, I heard a few other words that seem to be confirming it and so I think it is like a prophetic just feeling that I'm having and I just want to share that with you guys because 
Um, if you've spent any time on my channel, you know that I am genuine and authentic. I'm transparent. Um, you know, I don't tell you guys everything, but um, I, but overall, I'm, you know, just who I am, how I am. I'm a pretty open book, and you know, I tell you guys when I'm when I'm in a mood or whatever, you know. And um, but I I am in a good mood today, like you know, like. <laughs> Like, I have the joy of the Lord. Like, I, it, I just feel so at peace right now. Like, I I really feel like whatever could happen right now. Like, the rug could be pulled out from under my feet. And I just feel like, like, it would be okay. It, it would be alright. Like, so, I hope that's encouraging to you. Um, especially coming from me. <laughs> I had someone tell me recently that I am the most authentic person on YouTube. <laughs> well, I can only be me. Um, but yeah, guys, like, I am just feeling it. I'm feeling the joy of the Lord. I'm feeling his peace. I'm feeling his joy. I'm feeling this confidence that he's got me. He's got us, guys. He's got you. He's got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's got you. And I know, like, I've heard other people say stuff like that, and it's like, yeah, 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 but, you know, then again, I don't think they're as authentic as I am, so I hope it gives it more credence coming from, from me, because, um, like I said, you know, I, I have no, no qualms showing you guys some of my negative side and stuff, you know, and, uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling good today. It just, like, I'm feeling good. And, like, I, like I, I don't even know why. Like, it just, it, it's got to be prophetic. It's got to be. So, anyway, I just wanted to share those few things and hopefully encourage somebody out there that, uh, more or less, I, I think we are about to start popping off here. And that comes, and, and, and like, basically judgment. And judgment is a double-edged sword. It brings cursing and blessing. Judgment is an assessment. Judgment is an evaluation, um, and uh, I think the Lord is about to start dishing it out on like both sides, so to speak. I think there's going to be a b bunch of bad stuff that, that's about to happen, but there's also like a bunch of good stuff that's about to happen. Um, and it really just depends on you know where are you at with God? You know, have you repented? Are you seeking Him? Are you living for Him? Are you walking with Him? You know, are you uh, obeying Him? Okay, if he told you to do something, are you moving forward on that path or are you standing still or are you moving backwards? Okay, and usually when you stand still, you end up moving backwards, you know. Um, so just get your heart right. Get your heart right now. Okay, repent, obey, um, trust him. He's good. His heart is good. He is love. He loves you. His heart is good for you, toward you. Okay, um, just get yourself right with God so that you can be on the blessing side of, of, of the judgment that's coming instead of the cursing side. Okay, um, so yeah, I bless you all in Jesus' name.